Okay, so let's uh, grab our uh, doohickey here. What's next in this list? Okay, next we have the uh, merging. Okay, so we'll just grab the merge. Now, we saw that the uh, blend basically built another piece in between. But uh, what the merging does, it, it actually snaps one to the other. So uh, what I'll just do is I'll merge, and then it says pick one, and we'll just pick this guy, and then we'll pick this guy here, and it'll now actually merge them, so it snaps them together. It does actually pull the, uh, the UVs apart a little bit, but it just makes it uh, a little bit, it makes it one surface together, and you get a new surface out of that, which uh, then of course is quite a bit nicer. Okay. But it is uh, one UV surface itself. So the next little useful tool is down here, which is Snap Boundary, which basically allows me to... Oops, let's uh, undo that. Let's do it differently here. Let's yeah, stop that. Okay, grab that guy. Which basically allows me to snap one object's boundaries to another like that, so to snap it up. Now, these are, again, two separate objects still, but they are now snapped together, so that then if I, for example, wanted to go in here and grab my uh, assemble with the continuity manager, I just say, okay, and basically it now creates the uh, new object out of both of these, and the snapping uh, of the two objects together then will um, keep the continuity. So we can see that uh, we can change the continuity to uh, fit there, and uh, basically we have all of the things we need. Now, if you if you need to change, uh, if, you, if you're finding that it doesn't do quite what you're expecting, make sure you go into the SCM fixer operation, and you can, you can turn it always evaluate on and off so that uh, if you're having slowness in your animation, um, for example, you can just turn it off uh, if you need to. And uh, then you can have, um, for example, a modification of boundary points to match it up. And remember, you can set the continuity. Now, again, the important thing about this is this is now one surface mesh. But uh, even though it's one surface mesh, it, it keeps uh, the subsurfaces uh, separate so that I can go in and, whoops, and uh, really modify them if I need to. Um, as, as single entities, um, but it will keep them stitched together no matter what I do with them. So it's again, it's a very, very powerful way of working with NURBS and allows for a lot of flexibility and, and strength of animation without, you know, uh, tearing or ripping or anything like that. Okay, so delete that and then let's uh, just go on a little bit here. And uh, actually we can just... Uh, we can get rid of this guy too here. I just want to show a couple more things. So uh, down here we have a couple more things. We can uh, we can insert our knot cur curves and uh, remove knots and all that sort of thing. Um, inverter of normals I've been using quite a bit so far, so you've seen that. We can open and close the surface uh, basically in U and V. You can see down there that you can open and close it or open and close in, in uh, V. Um, again, very useful uh, in certain circumstances. Um, and uh, we can obviously clean and reparametrize it so it's getting rid of, uh, uh, you know, uh, planar, um, you know, lines that it doesn't need to display. And so like, I mean, mathematically, the surface is going to be accurate anyway, but uh, just for, you know, taking the edge off the uh, calculations, it just makes that much yeah, faster. Okay, reparametrizing. So basically, um, how often is there going to be a line? Um, again, this is just sort of mathematically uh, for the display and for the interaction. And I mean, in terms of mathematics, it will actually, it can calculate a line at every given point. So uh, you're always going to have a smooth surface, etc. And finally, um, one that's maybe quite useful is uh, let's just grab this guy and unhide him. So what we can do is we can um, do what's called an extend to curve. Now let's just, uh, we've uh, reparametrized this and all this sort of thing. Let's just get rid of some of these guys and just get this back to like we had it. There we go. And uh, what we can do is an extend to curve is basically taking a boundary and really snapping it out to a curve. And you can see that what it does is it really takes it out and, and, and sort of almost lofts from uh, the edge of one of, of your object to another curve, which again is, is very useful. Uh, again, you can you know set your tangents. Uh, so it's, it's really going to be a corner there. Is it going to be sharp, or is it really going to be a curvature going on? It, it does adjust the object back here, too. It goes along the whole uh, curvature. So you can really uh, set that up to be however you, you think is best. Okay, let's, uh, let's undo all that niceness there. Okay, so let's uh, go just back to the rest of the tools here. So let's now we can get rid of this one here. Now, what the uh, next one that we have here is um, Stitch. And that's basically uh, very similar to what we saw uh, up here with the uh, snap boundaries. So uh, what we can do is just grab this one here and uh, we can stitch, for example, one to the other. So just simply grabbing the boundaries and it'll stitch the two together. Um, again, useful for just aligning objects and bringing them together. 
Now, do remember that uh, it, it will it will actually keep the uh, relational modeling actually in this case, which is useful. But it uh, could also uh, tear along the thing. It's not using the um, it's not actually using the surface continuity manager for this. Okay, so um, one other one that's uh, quite useful is um, we actually have the uh, SNP, and basically what that allows you to do is pick a, a UV curve there. Uh, I don't know. We'll just grab that one there. Whoops, oh, that's not a good one. There we go. Have to uh, pick one that's useful. And what it basically does is it cuts the surface across there. So it just basically cuts it across and uh, deletes everything above or below that. And again, you can then adjust the position uh, depending on what you need. Um, but it's good for just you know cutting off part of a surface, something like that. Yeah, let's just undo that. And uh, then we uh, just go finally down to the trims, which is uh, the last of the things. So let's uh, just get rid of this guy here and uh, grab ourselves a grid. Uh, and there we go. Here's a grid. And let's just go into the top view here and uh, maybe draw a little, uh, little something. So let's just draw a little shape in here. That'll um, we'll just cut it out. There we go. And we'll uh, make sure that this is actually closed. So. Basically, the way a trim works is you go to there and trim by projection and grab that and then it cuts a hole. Uh, basically, you can say it's the boundary, so basically is it going to be inside or is it going to be outside? And uh, that's pretty much the way it works. Now, it will go th right through an object. Um, if you actually look at the uh, the trim uh, things, what you can have is the precision, so really guiding how much uh, it's going to be on. And one other thing that's quite important about trimming is if I now sort of draw another little fellow right in here and uh, close this and I now select this guy here and trim again there you go huh. and there, we can have overlapping trims like that and they will uh, complement each other and that sort of thing. And remember that the curves can be animated um, so that if you're uh, you know, going to be using several things overlapping, but it does tend to get a little bit slow after a while if you have several overlapping curves uh, that do that. Okay, uh, one other thing that maybe is uh, a little bit useful is uh, if you do have the overlapping ones, let's just grab this one here, and we'll just go to our second trim there and its boundary. So basically, if it is overlapping, uh, remember, you know, you can have the island. So basically, have you two curves, and one of whom will then restore uh, the trim of the others. So what you have is one curve cutting it out, and the other curve actually creating an island in the middle again. Uh, so you can have them complementing each other or um, overlapping each other whatnot.